when we saw these warblers. Oh, those colorful little birds that look like canaries. And, you know, eventually finding out that these little birds fly, you know, to the tropics. Welcome to our exhibit, Skies Alive, Bird Migration in the Garden State. From, from Central America to South America every winter and then back again. And yet they only weigh less than a half ounce apiece. Why so many birds fly through New Jersey? We are right on the fa flight path for an awful lot of birds that want to go from someplace much farther north or maybe even just a little bit farther north to someplace farther south. The conduit, the name of the conduit is uh, the Atlantic Flyway. New Jersey's location makes it part of the Atlantic Flyway and offers great habitats for migrating birds. So that includes migrating shorebirds that require a shoreline habitat, migratory passerine songbirds, and migrating raptors. And all of these are funneling from where they breed in the northern states or in, or in, in eastern Canada uh, south to uh, sometimes wintering in New Jersey, but usually wintering in either the southeast U.S or in South America. Just like uh, ancient mariners used the North Star and looked at the rotation of the, of the stars around the North Star, could tell where North was and where South was, birds are known to have that capability as well. A celestial navigation that may be related to the position of the sun uh, when it's setting that produces a, a certain kind of polarized light that allows the birds to tell uh, north and south, the rotation of stars at night. The, the species of birds through New Jersey in the spring probably number about 250. If you want me to put a number to the birds that are going through New Jersey airspace and taking advantage of the habitat here in the spring, we're dealing with tens if not hundreds of millions. It can be very depressing when one hears about how bad things are, how uh, species are disappearing every day, how the rainforest is disappearing. But one also has to realize that there are tremendous success stories in conservation. You know, oftentimes in the conservation community, we call New Jersey the front line, and it truly is. Nature is resilient. Again, conservation not only does it make sense for making sure the birds are around, but it's directly linked to your quality of health when you look at preserving the forests of the highlands for safe drinking water in Newark. And there's huge career opportunities and advancement. And when you take a look at Newark Museum, it's not only making them, making those connections happen and possible, but it's getting, sparking the interest of kids and saying, not only is this fascinating, but it could be a career for you. If it, if it was bad, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> you know, we're on the receiving end now of 110 years of really good conservation management. You, know, you are living in a fantastic place if you're living in New Jersey today. Right after a large migration in the spring, you may not even notice that you have, you know, well over a dozen warbler species that are descending in these parks in Newark to stop over and eat berries and, and insects and then continue on their, their journey. Just going out there one spring morning and just listening to all these birds and, you know, it's, it's a beautiful thing if you can wake up that early to, to listen to the dawn chorus. And that, that's just, it's beautiful. It's, you forget where you are.